Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Free Hammers. It's Luke here. We've signed the player, finally. A player we knew that was coming, you know, one of the biggest non-secrets out there. Um, Naif Agurd has signed the French uh, Moroccan centre, Moroccan French speaking centre back from Ligue 1 from Rennes. Um, player we've been linked with for a long time since the end of the season. Um, and, you know, arguably a position we did need. Um, especially a left footed one we see with Oggy, you know, when he had his bad injury, how much we missed the left sided player. It's that natural ability to be able to pass down the line um, that we didn't have. You know, Zuma did well, he, he was an absolute monster for us, Zuma, at times, but just that little bit of, you know, having to cut back, back onto his right foot to be able to pass out just slightly slowed down the attack. And I'm hoping that a Gerd will offer that again and, you know, there are rumours as well um, that he will be used to fill in at left back if required, but I'm hoping we still do sign a left back because I do believe that is the final piece of that puzzle in defence, hopefully. I can't say I know much about a good. I know we've all done the research. There's that great video, you know, where he keeps up with Salah. There's a great video where he muscles Mbappe. Um, there's also that one where he's you know attacking a defending uh, attacking a corner and then just runs. You, you won't see him on the clip, and he just comes absolutely out of nowhere with a last ditch tackle. Very very fast. That's the only thing I really do know about him. Seems like he's got a really good mentality as well. You know, up for the fight. Um, as that sort of leadership qualities that we know that um, Moyes really rates highly. So um, yeah, you know, hopefully he hits the ground running. You would expect that it would be zoom out. Uh, Zuma and a good going forward was nice to see Oggy uh, welcome him to the club. You know, saying you're the future. Like I say, hopefully, 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 um, this is the start now. You know, um, yeah, I'm happy. It seems like this was, you know, David Moyes' apparently number one target as well. So it's important that you go and get that one. It would, it would have spoke. Um, volumes if we didn't you know I know I had some of the panic videos last week and you know a lot of other West Ham channels shared the same sort of opinion really that sorry if we didn't get this done um, you know what does it say you know it, but we have got it done now so that, that's good we can move on um, I expect Aviola hopefully to be the next one hopefully that's by the end of the week um, or starting next week you know so we then we go and move on like next target now okay this is good it relaxed us a little bit um, we can, you know, look at who we're going to move on, you know, whether it looks like probably will be Diop linked with Leon, also linked with Renes himself. I think he's also, I think I've read that he might be linked with Lazio as well, potentially. If we can get him out the door, again, I see a great video from Gio earlier that we're not under pressure now. You know, it's not like we have to try and force him out uh, to get some sort of money to make a deal. Now we can sort of hang about a bit. Um, and wait and hopefully, um, you know, get a good deal for us, you know, instead of, you know, the eight, nine millions, we hope, might be able to get the 12, 13s, 14s, if we're lucky, a push 15, which would be okay, which would be okay. Um, yeah, so really good. Next step, you know, like I say, Ariola, but after Ariola, you know, you've got to go and get that centre midfielder. I'm desperate for a centre midfielder. I don't know who that's going to be, but we're desperate for a centre midfielder. And then, you know, Perfect window would be, if we really wanted a perfect, perfect window, it would be a left back, a left winger and a striker. Will all those come? I don't know. Again, I think it depends on outs. If Flasic gets uh, you know, sent out, Diop goes, Masawaku goes, for, you know, then it will free up some money and free up some squad positions. So hopefully we can move that forward. Um, also, I did read that we're in to get some money. Um, on a sell-on, I believe that we may, if Haller joins, I think if, if he joins Dortmund, I believe it is, we could be in to get around seven, six to eight million um, in terms of a sell-on clause, which would be good. You know, it's another bit of money to add to the kitty. Um, and again, softens that blow of what we lost Haller for, you know, the fact that he has gone on, hopefully will go on now and have a you know, move to Dortmund. So um, I thought we might join Man United because um, of Ten Hag. But yeah, it looks like he might go to Dortmund. Dortmund don't buy bad players. So yeah, hopefully we get a bit of money there as well. So yeah, a little bit more positive today. Um, and it's good. It's good to have that positivity. We need it going forward. 
Um, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Uh, like I say, just nice, short and sweet. Um, yeah, that's my reaction. Let me know what you guys think. Are you excited for him? Do you think he starts? If Oggy was fit and comes back to his best, does he get in front of Oggy? We don't know yet, do we? But let me know what you guys think and what else do we need going forward. If you made it to this end of the video, hashtag Morocco. Come on, you irons. Let's go.